Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, we're sitting here, right in front of the entrance to Ivaldi's Maze here in Niflheim. Sorry, Niflheim. I didn't need to tap that, but hey, I can see I've still got a resurrection stone, so I guess that was useful. Um, I had a thought today in the shower, and that's specifically, uh, well, these Valkyries we've encountered, they're really terrible. And uh, then there's this, which I'm looking at right now. Mother said that Draugr were two warriors who died, but their souls were too stubborn and angry to stop fighting. They'd fight off the Valkyrie that came to protect them and bring their own dead bodies back to life. I would like you to think about all the Draugr we have encountered. And now I would like you to think about all the Valkyries we have encountered. And ask yourself, in what universe could any of the latter be overcome by one of the former? Like, were these guys, like, amazing ninja warriors in life? Is that why the Valkyries came for them and they fought them off, but now their skills and abilities have degraded so badly because, well, just fucking look at them. <laughs> Husks of their former selves, indeed. Well. Well, maybe they weren't fighting back too hard because they have explicit orders not to damage the goods, you know? Where did that guy come from? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, I kind of like that animation because the staff sticking straight up is like, well, here's your tombstone, all fresh and ready. I forgot you can't block that. Oh, I can just wait. At long last. Traps have killed someone other than Kratos. Huh. Again, no little chest. Well, I guess we're going this way, since I have... Uh, oh, I can't go over there, but... I seem to have had pretty good luck finding the Valkyrie, starting off going left. Oh. It's not going fast enough right there. One... Fuck. Two, three. <laughs> Fuck. Where is the other one? Oh, up there. Can I see it from here? Yes, yeah, so I will have to move. That one, that sucked. Oh, it's, re it's re restarting, sure. Fuckers. No. Wasn't Damn! If I had hit it that time, I was gonna give up. 
I do wish those ones gave you more, you know, misdefense than the, uh, oops, other ones. And now... Oh, wow, the whole collection of them. I thought I was catching the guy's projectile, but I was actually parrying the other guy's attack. so far, so I might just go back to the uh, in the middle and reset things in the treasure room. You know, you would think that would make a whole fucking lot of noise. The maze resetting, I mean. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Apparently I had plenty of time. Uh. Hmm. Let's climb up here and claim these mist echoes. Weird how there's no effect at all until you get there, huh? All the way to the top. Jesus. I haven't even found one of these fog anchors yet. Oh. Well, I can do that. Hey, that feels good, I think. <gasps> the chilling mists of Niflheim. Bleak mist found in the depths of Niflheim, used to unlock an upgrade to a powerful item. I remember that one. Holy shit. That's really important. Uh do you remember, like, it was called, like, the Raging Fires of Muspelheim or something? And it was used to unlock the last upgrade for this. Well, the, uh, the Chilling Mists of Niflheim were used to unlock one last upgrade for Leviathan, which, remember, hasn't otherwise been upgraded since before I got the, uh, since right before I got the Blades of Chaos. I was expecting that to be, like, in one of these, to be perfectly honest. I thought that would be the last thing I would get. Actually, I considered the idea that the Valkyrie would drop it until I remembered, well, she's gonna have to drop the, uh, the Valkyrie chest piece because I don't have that one otherwise. I think I might run back to the temple so that, uh, both the brothers can work on this one. You know, like the last level of, uh, the Blades. I do find it strange, I have to admit, that, uh... Apparently this one uh, is fully upgraded, and this one is not. But they're both at five. Well, I don't know. I guess he, uh... He does feel more positively about the axe, famously. Well, not famously, he hasn't explicitly said that, but let's be honest. One of these weapons was given to him by his wife on her deathbed, and the other one was used to murder his wife and child, so, uh... It doesn't feel very balanced to me. 
<laughs> in terms of preferences. Yes! I interrupted you! I hate that attack! I always feel like I get in the wrong end of that, or fail to dodge it, or whatever. And of course, they gave it to one of the Valkyries. Fine. I mean, I'm standing right here, I might as well. So here's something I want to know. If Ragnarok assumes I got 100%, and I have been told this, does that mean that these weapons will start out fully upgraded? Or are they just going to add more upgrade levels beyond this and make them look even sicker? Rum tears. The spinning blades were Avaldi's favorite. Damn it. I always thought them a bit garish. Wait, this isn't Muspelheim. Why is there just a chunk of a uh, big chunk of slag lying here with a skeleton in it? I didn't notice the skeleton before, I'll be honest. Fuck, did this guy's entire body mass melt into fungus and then it grew away from his bones? He's not going to the gas this time. And I remember the first time I came here and stepped onto this and thought that the entire region would be like this. With a timer at the top, just oh no. Heat up the forge, boys! I got a special order for you. One more, Leviathan. Surely this will help with that, uh, pesky Valkyrie. Let's sort you out. Oh, I need to buy that! Yes, that's right. Uh, resources. Frozen flame with the chilling mists of Nephilim. An impossible material that houses the rage of fire and the temper of ice, generated through mighty battles, used to upgrade the Leviathan Axe. Now what else do I want to tell you? I just want to see it do the thing one more time. Now you're talking. There it is. Weapon upgrade available. Leviathan Axe upgrade. It's the very last... That sounded a bit unhealthy, huh? It's the very last weapon upgrade in the game. And frankly, I'm kind of impressed I made it this far. Well, I can't really see it from here, but we'll find out. Do it! Axe upgrade 6! Strength from 70 to 85. Hell yeah. Better get too thirsty now. Nice. Upgrade successful. Upgrade of Leviathan Axe successful. And, uh... I feel pretty good about that. Was that all there is? Huh. It actually looks about the same to me. Oh well, it was always badass. Man, 
Man, I would have to go over that very carefully to figure it out if they did make a difference. Maybe it's that silver band beneath the head? I checked here to see if they put like a gemstone and the crown thing at the top, but I don't think so. Oh yes, and achievement unlocked worthy. Fully upgrade the Leviathan Axe. As opposed to why fight it for uh, fully upgrading the Blades of Chaos, I do like the suggestion of morality in these weapons. I mean, thinking about it, it you know, I think the brothers suggested that uh, they consciously made Leviathan to try and undo some of the harm they had caused with Mjolnir. That's why they gave it to Faye, because they knew she was a Jotunheim guardian. Watch it turn out that those are actually accurate statues of Evaldi, who was just some terrifying eldritch being. I see you're actually enjoying Evaldi's workshop. You've certainly spent enough time here. I mean, you're the one who set up shop out here by yourself, man. You could have just stayed in the middle with Brock. Oh, I should do something, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? What did that say specifically? Saving and changing difficulty are disabled within the cursed mist of Niflheim. Shit. That's messed up. Feels good to get the thing done, though. All right, let's not let her get thirsty, like the man said. Oh. Thank you. That was a big old chunk of damage. I don't know they can move that quickly. Oh, shit. Oh. Man. Oh no, without my weapon, what will I do? I'll just kill you. Ah, fine. You win. No! You know, I don't know how the Draugr work if they're banished to Helheim once I destroy their bodies, but I can't help but wonder, if the Hellwalkers are just dudes who found a way out of Helheim, am I just killing the same ones over and over and over again? Impress yourself today, says my lozenge driver. <laughs> uh, is, oh, there is a path to the left. Oh, God! Ugh. I wonder if it lets you cheat if you're most of the way up. Like a little clip for your leg, but you won't actually get crushed. Probably not. Oh no. One, two... Come on, where's three? Where's three? Up there! Probably aim for the further ones first, because they'll be more difficult throws. Somewhere in the middle? Or they're going high enough. Or am I going over it completely? 
completely. I can't even. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Curses! Oh God! Um. Oh, it's you guys. That's why. Oh. oh, and there's the timer. Making things more interesting. Go! Damn it, I wanted to obliterate the other guy. You hold this. Okay. Didn't handle that as well as I might have. Rock the Tuskers! Hurt again! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> At least he's jolly about it. Oh, I missed that. Another chilling myths of Niflheim. How weird. Okay. I'd say I made an improvement today. Thought about some things, upgraded some things. Um I'm Burning Dog Face and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. When you press on into the maze and uh try our luck at finding that Valkyrie and bringing her back to her sisters. Knock on wood! Later.